Assalamu alaikum students, I am Vaseem Ikram. This is the 12th lecture in a series of 45 lectures on digital logic design. Kaise hain aap? Chala, achche honge. Pichle do lectures se hum baat kar rahe hain kind of maps pe. Kind of maps we said provide you with the systematic way of simplifying Boolean expressions. Jo ke normal manual tarikhe se solve karna mushkil ho jata hai asme. Today we are inshallah going to start with a new method to uh, simplify uh, Boolean expressions. But before that, let us revise the contents uh, which we studied in the last lecture. In the last lecture, we talked about representing a uh, product of some expression uh, in the form of K maps, rather mapping product of some expressions to K maps. We talked about representing standard uh, product of some expressions. Kaise aap map karenge? Basically, uh, standard product of sum jo expression hai, usme aapke paas max terms honge. So, jo bhi max terms hai, wo directly aap k map mein, jo cells hai, representing those max terms, udhar aap zeros dal denge. Jo baki bachenge, jo max terms present nahi hai, they would be represented by ones. Then we talked about uh, mapping non-standard product of sum expressions to a k map, kind of map. Again, usme kya karna hai? Let's suppose you have an expression a plus d bar into b plus c bar. So uh, this is a non-standard uh, product of sum expression. Karnoff map mein kaise map karenge? Basically, jo pehla uh, sum term hai, dusri jo sum term hai, jahan jahan bhi jo jo cells mein wo values mil rahi hain, udhar aapne zeros dal dene. Baki jo cells hain, udhar again one raega. Then we talked about simplification. Uh, of product of some expressions using the Karnoff map. Well, simplification uh, but a standard sa, a sans a method hai. Uh, when you map information map kar lenge Karnoff map, mein, then you have to form groups. Groups, jo hai, you could have group of 8, you could have group of 16, 4, 2 and so on. You start with the largest group. Group apne kis ka banana hai? Basically, apne zeros ka group banana hai because product of some expression ki baat kar rahe hai. Sum of product expression ki baat nahi kar rahe So, groups of zeros banayenge isme. Ek aur uh, jis uh, cheez ki uh, humne jo baat ki thi. Uh, if you have a kind of map, it is fully mapped. That is, all cells either have ones or zeros. Aap usse asani se expressions extract kar sakte hai. Agar aap one ki grouping kare, aur wo jo expression aapko de rahi hai, basically sum of product terms degi. Agar wo zeros ki grouping kare aap, then aapko kya expression milegi? Product of sum forms milegi. So basically aap badi asani se convert kar sakte hai. Aapke paas Karnoff map hai, product of sum expression lehen, ya sum of product expression lehen by grouping uh, ones or zeros. Humne baat ki thi, five variables Karnoff maps bhi. Five variable Karnoff maps, uh, basically we said, uh, are composed of 32 cells. So 32 cells Karnoff map banana zara mushkil kaam hai. Aur usko represent karna, usko grouping karna bhi zara mushkil ho jata hai. So a five variable Karnoff map is represented in the form of two four variable maps. So a two dimensional map ban raha hai. Aur udar ap grouping karenge, basically two dimensional grouping hogi. Again, I mean, uh, defining groups in a five-variable Karnoff map is uh, a bit confusing. Uh, you might not be able to recognize the appropriate patterns. So we mentioned in the last lecture that if the expression goes beyond four variables, five variables, six variables, another method is going to be used, which we study today. We also talked about uh, Functions having multiple outputs. Abhi tak, jitne bhi humne functions ki ya circuits ki baat ki thi, we said they have only a single output. Multiple input ho sakte hain, output hamesha one hi humne uh, examples mein kiya. Well, practically you are going to have circuits which have multiple outputs and of course multiple inputs. Multiple output jo circuit hai, usko kaise aap simplify karenge, circuit kaise bhanega. So basically, last lecture mein humne baat ki thi, BCD to seven segment uh, converter circuit jo hai. 
So basically the input to the circuit is 4 bit BCD, the output is a 7 segment uh, display or uh, the circuit has 7 pins. So the pins are basically connected to a 7 segment display, A, B, C, D, E, F, G segments. Uh, so the circuit uh, turns on the appropriate segments to display the appropriate digit. Let's say you have 0 display, karna hai, so you would provide a BCD 0 at the input, appropriate segments would be turned on and of course you would display the digit 0. So you had a circuit with 7 outputs. Usko aapne kaise, uh, expression uh, ki form mein kaise define karna hai? Basically you would have 7 expressions. Humne baat ki thi truth table ki, truth table would have 16 um, uh, possible combinations because you have a 4 input, 4 uh, uh, bit input to the circuit. Since you have 7 outputs, therefore you would have 7 different truth tables or you could have a single truth table with 7 different outputs representing each of the 7 segments. We are going to start today's lecture with another example which has multiple outputs. So, this example karke, then of course we would be talking about the uh, other method which is used to simplify Boolean expressions. Let us talk about a comparator circuit. A comparator circuit basically compares two values. Uh, digital logic mein, ya kisi system mein, you need to compare several values. So you might need to know if x is equal to y, if it's greater than y or less than y. You see, tana, digital logic maybe we need circuits which have to compare two values and then provide you with the answer. Uh, are the two values equal? Is the first value less than the other or otherwise? Okay, circuit kis type ka hoga? Basically, how many? outputs should the circuit have? Basically, it should have three outputs. One output should be set to one if both the numbers are equal. The second output should be set to one if let's say number A is greater than B. And the third output would be set to one if number A is less than B. So, three outputs. One output indicates if the two numbers are equal. The second output which indicates if number A is greater than B and the third output which indicates if number A is less than B. Inputs kitne honge circuit ke? Well, it depends on the two numbers. Let's suppose you have two numbers A and B and both are two bit numbers. So, kitne bit ka input hona chahiye? Basically, A is two bit, B is two bit. So, you have a four bit input to the circuit and the output is three bits. Let us consider the function table of the, the comparator circuit. Char uh, bit inputs hai. So, function table jo hai, char columns hongi of course representing the two numbers, each is of two bits. Input combinations kitni hogi? Basically, char uh, bit input hai, sona combinations hogi. Output jo hai, basically we said you have three outputs. So, function table mein teen outputs honge. Yaan toh ap teen different function tables bana lehen. Yaan ek function table hoga, jiske teen different outputs honge. Now, one of the outputs would represent, let's say, the number A greater than B. So, you would look at the input combinations. Wherever you find number A to be larger than B, you would do what with that output column A greater to B? Basically, you would write a 1 there. Let's talk about the second column uh, where you have A equals to B. The output represents the equality between two numbers A equals to B. So again, you would look at the 16 possible input combinations. Wherever you find both the numbers to be equal, the output is set to 1. And similarly, you have the third output which represents A less than B. Again, kaise usko ab, uh, ones and zeros usme likhenge? You would again look at all the 16 possible input combinations. Jahan bhi aapko nazar aayega A is less than B. Of course, you mark the corresponding output with a 1. So, you have a function table representing the comparator function. Iske baad aapne kya karna hai? Basically, you need to uh, write Boolean expressions. Boolean expression ke baad aap, of course, circuit banayenge. But circuit banane ka kaam jo hai, wo hum baad mein discuss karenge. Let's first of all define the expressions. Expressions kaise aayengi? Uh, how many kind of maps do you need to use? Or kitne variables ke hone chahiye? Basically, you have four variables. Right? So, the Carnot map which you need to simplify the expression has to be a four variable Carnot map. 
कितने चाहिए होंगी बेसिकली तीन कार्न ऑफ मैप चाहिए ईच इज ऑफ फोर वेरिएबल्स बिकॉज यू हैव थ्री आउटपुट्स सो वन कार्न ऑफ मैप वुड बी यूज टू सिंप्लीफाई द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द नंबर ए ग्रेटर दैन बी द सेकेंड कार्न ऑफ मैप वुड बी यूज टू सिंप्लीफाई द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन रिप्रजेंटिंग द इक्वालिटी ए इक्वल्स टू बी and the third karn of map would be used to um, uh, represent the boolean expression or rather simplify the boolean expression which represents the relationship a is less than b so let us have a look at the comparator circuit let's have a look at the function table and the karn of maps let us first have a look at the function table for the relationship a greater than b The function table for output a greater than b represents the output of the circuit uh, output logic line representing a greater than b for 16 combinations of the two bit numbers a and b. The input numbers a and b are represented by a1 a0 and b1 b0 columns of the function table. Output a greater than b line is set to 1 when a is greater than b. Thus For input combinations of A and B, that is zero one zero zero, one zero zero zero, one zero zero one, one one zero zero, one one zero one, and one 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 zero, the output A greater than B is one. The function table for the output A equals to B represents the output of the circuit logic line representing A equals to B for sixteen combinations of the two bit numbers A and B. The input numbers a and b are represented by a1, a0, and b1, b0 columns of the function table. Output a equals to b line is set to one when a equals to b. Thus, for input combinations of a and b, that is 0000, 0101, 1010, 1, and 1111, the output a equals to b is set to one. Let us have a look at the function table for the relationship a is equal is less than b. The function table for the output a less than b represents the output of the circuit logic line representing a less than b for 16 combinations of the two bit numbers a and b. The four variables are represented as a1, a0, b1, b0. Output a less than b line is set to 1 when A is less than B. Thus, for input combinations of A and B, that is zero 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 one, zero zero one zero, zero zero one one, zero one one zero, zero one one one, and one zero one one, the output A less than B is set to one. Let us look at the simplification of the output A is greater than B. Simplifying expression for a greater than b through a four variable k map yields a1 b1 bar plus a0 b1 bar b0 bar plus a1 a0 b0 bar. Note that the leftmost column has binary values 00, 01, 11, 1, 1, and 10, representing a1 and a0 variables. The top row has binary values 00, 01, 11, 1, and 10, representing variables b1 and b0. The number b. Simplifying expression for the relationship a equals to b is very simple. It again requires a four-variable Carnot map. It yields the Boolean expression a1 bar a0 bar b1 bar b0 bar plus a1 bar a0 b1 bar b0. Plus a1 a0 b1 b0 plus a1 a0 bar b1 b0 bar. The Carnot map for a relationship a less than b is again a four-variable Carnot map. Simplifying the Boolean expression yields a1 bar b1 plus a1 bar a0 bar b0 plus a0 bar b1 b0. We just looked at the function tables of the comparator circuit, the Carnot maps. Basically, uh, circuits of functions which have multiple outputs, they are solved 
um, in a manner which is similar to solving circuits or uh, uh, functions which have a single output. Usi tarah aapke function table banega, usi tarah Karnoff map banega, usi tarah aapne expression solve karni hai. The only difference between functions having multiple outputs and functions having a single output is that jitne aapke outputs hain, utni aapke expressions hongi, utni aapke Karnoff map banega. Okay, let us now talk about the alternate method for simplifying expressions which have more than four variables. We talked about that if there are five variables in the kind of map, then it is difficult to solve it. One is you have two maps, one is open, one is two-dimensional. Then when you have ones or zeros, which will be difficult to group, it is difficult to group patterns, which can be missed in the understanding. So a better method is the Quinn-McCluskey method. So Quinn-McCluskey method is used to solve expressions with more than four variables, paan, che, saat, art, jitna bhi hain. The Quinn-McCluskey method is based on a computer program. Basically, you will not make a Karnoff map, you will not make a mapping, you will not manually solve, you will not see patterns from yourself. The Quinn-McCluskey method is based on a computer program. So, a program likhenge aap, you would run it on a computer, you would provide the min terms of the expression and of course, the program would come up with the solution, the minimum uh, product terms. Kaam kaise karta hai? Basically, agar aapko ye kaha jai ke ek expression hai, jis mein baut saray product terms hai, usko simplify karna hai. Kya tariqa hooga? Karnoff map aap ni use kar rahe. Basically, aap हर दो टर्म्स को देखेंगे उसमें देखेंगे कुछ कॉमन वेरिएबल है जो आप रिमूव कर सकते हैं अगर नहीं कर सकते तो फिर उस टर्म को एक दूसरी टर्म के साथ कंपेयर करेंगे एंड सो ऑन बेसिकली यू वुड बी कंपेयरिंग ऑल टर्म्स विद ऑल द रिमेनिंग टर्म्स सो बेसिकली यू वुड बी डूइंग एन एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च सर्च कर रहे हैं जो कंप्लीट सर्च है जितने भी आपके पास वेरिएबल्स हैं सारों को आप देख रहे हैं सो द क्विन मैक्लस्की मैथड इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च all the variables are searched to find the minimum possible terms. Let's see how it works in detail, but let me just describe you the main features of this method. Let's take an example. You have a four variable Karnoff map. So, left column में आप variables A, B represent कर रहे हैं, उपर वाली row में आप जो है C, D variables को represent कर रहे हैं. Let's suppose कि आपके जो दो नीचे वाली rows हैं, उनमें सारे आपने ones लिखे हुए हैं, ठीक है? आपको कहा जाएगा कि इसको solve करो, क्या आपकी term आएगी? Basically, eight cells का एक group बन जाता है, right? So the expression simplifies to simply a, the variable a. Okay. अगर आप ये सेल नहीं बना सकते तो तरीका क्या है बेसिकली लेट्स सपोज आप जो पहले कॉलम में जो वन लिखा हुआ है पहली रो में उसको कंपेयर करेंगे उसके नीचे वाले रो में उसी कॉलम में जो वन लिखा हुआ है तो दोनों वंस को कंपेयर करेंगे तो इन दोनों को अगर कंबाइन कर दें तो इसमें से कौन सा वेरिएबल निकल जाएगा बेसिकली ए तो उधर रहेगा बी जो है वो निकल जाएगा सी डी भी कॉमन है राइट सो अगर इन दो को जो दो रोज में पहले कॉलम में दो जो वंस हैं बेसिकली उसमें से बी वेरिएबल निकल जाता है ए सी डी वेरिएबल रहता है इसी तरह अगर आप नेक्स्ट कॉलम में ऊपर और नीचे जो दो वंस हैं उनको कंपेयर करें उनमें से कौन सा वेरिएबल निकल जाएगा बेसिकली अगेन बी निकल जाएगा इसी तरह अगर आप तीसरे कॉलम में और चौथे कॉलम में जो दोनों रोज में वन हैं उनको अगर कंपेयर करें अगेन सारों में से बी टर्म जो है या बी वेरिएबल जो है वो निकल जाता है ओके कंपेयर करने के बाद आपको किस फॉर्म में अब नजर आ रहा है बेसिकली आपके पास चार सेल बन गए ऑफ टू वंस ठीक है ना चार सेल्स हर एक में दो वंस हैं नेक्स्ट स्टेप क्या करना है बेसिकली अब जो दो सेल्स हैं एडजेसेंट सेल्स उनको आपस में कंपेयर करें सो पहले कॉलम में दो का सेल जो बना हुआ है और दूसरे कॉलम में में दो वंस का सेल बना हुआ है उसको कंपेयर करें क्या होगा विच टर्म और विच वेरिएबल यू रिमूव बेसिकली ए रिमेंस देयर uh, D variable is removed, right? So A stays there, C stays there, D variable is removed. Similarly, if you compare the two cells in the third column and the fourth column, what will happen? Again, D variable removed will remove. Now you are left with two groups of four cells. 
अच्छा अगर इन दो ग्रुप्स ऑफ फोर सेल्स को अगर आप कंपेयर करें क्या होगा बेसिकली वो जो सी वेरिएबल है वो भी निकल गया यू एंड अप विथ ए वेरिएबल ओरिजिनली हमने बात की थी अगर आपके पास दो रोज हैं जिनमें सारे वन हैं निचली वाली दो रोज तो एट सेल का एक ग्रुप बनता है विच इज़ इक्वल टू ए और अगर इस तरह एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च का एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च में बेसिकली आपने क्या किया है एक एक सेल को आप कंपेयर कर रहे हैं कार्न ऑफ मैप के जिन सेल्स में वन लिखे हुए हैं उन सारों को आपस में कंपेयर कर रहे हैं और आपके पास अल्टीमेटली सोल्यूशन वही आया सो द क्विन मैकलस की मैथड ऑल्सो यूज दिस टेक्निक सिंस यू आर नॉट डूइंग इट मैनुअली यू हैव ए कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम डूइंग दिस सर्च सो इट डजेंट मैटर कि आपके पास कितने वेरिएबल्स हैं सो लेट एस हैव ए लुक एट क्विन मैकलस की मैथड बट बिफोर दैट बिफोर आई डिस्क्राइब द मैथड लेट मी शो यू टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ फोर वेरिएबल कार्न ऑफ मैप्स ऑल दो वी कैन सॉल्व एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फोर वेरिएबल्स यूजिंग फोर फोर वेरिएबल कार्न ऑफ मैप बट स्टिल even with four variable expressions it is sometimes difficult to see appropriate patterns so if you use a four variable karnov map you might not come out with the simplest form of the expression so let's have a look at two examples of four variable karnov maps let us have a look at a four variable karnov map six groups of four cells each are formed the six groups form the six terms ab ac bar ad B C, C D, and B bar D. Out of these six groups, three groups are redundant, and therefore they are introducing three extra product terms which are not required. Can you spot the groups? Basically, the essential terms that are required are A C bar, B C, and B bar D. So the term A B is redundant; it is not required. The term A D is again not required. it can be removed and the term cd it is again not required so only three terms are essential let us look at the second kind of map in the four variable k map five groups of four cells and two cells are formed the five groups form the five terms a b c bar a c d a bar b c a bar c bar d and b d now when groups are formed you start with a group having maximum number of ones so you would start by forming a group of four now in this particular case the group of four is basically redundant it is not required the essential terms that are required are a b c bar a c d a bar b c and a bar c bar d we just saw two examples of four variable kind of maps Uh, and we saw that it is possible to make mistakes not recognize uh, appropriate patterns even with four variable karnov maps so five variable karnov maps se to uh, zyada masla badh jayega usme okay let us start with the quinn mcclusky method quinn mcclusky method is basically a two step method pehle step mein kya karenge basically you would perform an exhaustive search एक्सट्रासिव सर्च में क्या होता है आप जितने भी मेन टर्म्स हैं आपस में कंपेयर कर रहे हैं जैसे हमने शुरू में एग्जांपल की थी ना आपके पास फोर वेरिएबल कार्न ऑफ मैप है जिनमें जो दो वाली रोज हैं नीचे उनमें सारे वंस लिखे हैं तो पहले आप दो सेल्स को कंपेयर करते हैं फिर जो दो सेल्स बन गए फिर चार फिर इस तरह सारों को कंपेयर कर रहे हैं इसी तरह क्विन मेक्लस की मैथड में पहले स्टेप में यू डू एन एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च ऑल मेन टर्म्स आर कंपेयर विद ईच अदर ये जो सर्च है बार बार रिपीट होगी इट इज़ पॉसिबल दैट यू कंपेयर इट एम ट्वाइस और थ्राइस द एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च स्टार्ट स्टॉप्स रेदर वैन नो मोर कंपेरिजन कैन बी डन बाई कंपेरिजन वट डू आई मीन वैन यू कैन नॉट रिमूव ए वेरिएबल जो हमने एग्जाम्पल की थी उसमें आप वेरिएबल्स एक एक करके रिमूव कर रहे थे तो एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च में जब आप कंपेयर कर रहे हैं यू ट्राई टू रिमूव ए वेरिएबल सो वैन यू आर नॉट एबल टू रिमूव ए वेरिएबल दैट मीन्स द सर्च हैज स्टॉप्ड सो दिस कम्प्लीट द फर्स्ट स्टेप उसके बाद क्या करना है सेकेंड स्टेप जो है क्विन मैकलस की मैथड का उसमें आप जो है वो जो आपके पास एक मिनिमम टर्म्स आ जाते हैं जिनको आप कहते हैं प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट्स सो सेकेंड स्टेप में वो प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट्स हैं उनमें से आपने मिनिमम पॉसिबल प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स लेनी है विच एक्सप्रेस द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन ठीक है इन द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म सो we are going to have a look at two examples and we are going to follow through all these steps so let us have a look at the first example 
consider the function defined in canonical sum form as sigma a b c d 1 3 6 7 8 9 11 12 13 14 and 15. The min terms along with variables a b c and d are written in a tabular form. The numbers 1 3 6 7 8 9 11 12 13 14 and 15 of course represent the min terms of the expression of the sum of a product expression. Each min term is represented in terms of its binary value as can be seen in the table. We refer to this table as table 1. The table of min terms is reorganized in terms of groups of min terms having 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 ones. Thus, min terms 1 and 8 have only single ones. The min terms 3, 6, 9 and 12 have 2 ones each. The min terms 7, 11, 13 and 14 have 3 ones each and the min term 15 has 4 ones. An extra column is added to the table of min terms which indicates which min terms can be compared together to eliminate a variable. This table is referred to as table 2. All pairs of min terms which can be compared together to eliminate a variable are marked as used. When comparing min terms, the rule is to compare each min term in one group with each min term in the other group. Thus, in, the, in this example, min terms 1 and 8 in group having single ones are compared with each of the four min terms 3, 6, 9 and 12 in the group having min terms of two ones each. Similarly, each of the four min terms 3, 6, 9 and 12 are compared with each of the min terms in the next group having three ones that is min terms 7, 11, 13 and 14. Lastly, each of the min terms 7, 11, 13 and 14 are compared with the min term 15 in the last group having all ones or four ones. The results of the comparisons between two min terms are represented in a separate table referred to as table 3. The first column lists the min terms that have been compared together to eliminate common variables. So terms 1 and 3 form a single term eliminating variable c forming the product term a bar b bar d. The comparison terms 1 and 3 are marked as used in table 2. Similarly, terms 1 and 9 form a single term eliminating variable a forming the product term b bar c bar d. Both these terms are marked as used in table 2. Similarly, terms 8 and 9 elimin eliminate variable d, terms 8 and 12 eliminate variable b, terms 3 and 7 eliminate variable b and so on. All these terms which eliminate variables are marked as used in table 2. As a result of comparison, a total of 16 3 variable product terms are formed eliminating a single variable from each term. All the 16 terms are represented in table 3. The exhaustive search for finding prime implicants has not completed. An unmarked term represents a prime implicant. Comparison of terms and elimin elimination of single variable continues with terms in table 3. All terms that combine to eliminate a variable are represented in table 4. Thus, terms 1, 3 and terms 9, 11 in table 3 form the product term b bar d eliminating variable 9. Whilst comparing terms in table 3, a pair of terms which are different in a single variable are used. The terms 1, 3 and 9, 11 are different in a single variable a only. All terms in table 3 which form a simpler product term eliminating a single variable are marked as used in table 3. In table 4, there are 6 product terms of 2 variables each. If the terms in uh, table 4 are compared, none of them form pairs to eliminate a variable. Thus, all the 6 terms are marked as not used. The exhaustive search for prime implicants has been completed. The prime implicants are the product terms represented by the terms in table 4. In the second step of 
Quinn McCluskey method, the essential and minimal prime implicants are found. The prime implicants found in the first step are listed in leftmost column of the table. The table is referred to as table 5. So, the 6 prime implicant terms found in step 1 are B bar D, A C bar, C D, B C, A D and A B. They are left, uh, listed in the leftmost column of table 5. All the original min terms are listed in the top row. So, the original min terms were 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. In each cell an x is marked indicating that the prime implicant listed in the left column covers the min term mentioned in the top row. Thus, the prime implicant B bar D covers the min terms 1, 3, 9 and 11. If you write an expression representing the min term 1, 3, 9 and 11, all these four terms would have the product term B bar D. The table 5 can be directly implemented from table 4. Circles are marked in cells having x which represent min terms covered by only a single prime implicant. Thus, the min terms 1, 6 and 8 are covered by only the prime implicants B bar D, A C bar and B C respectively. So, they have to be included in the final expression. These three implicants in fact are the three essential prime implicants that cover all the min terms. The simplified expression therefore, has the terms B bar D, A C bar and B C. The prime implicants C D, A D and A B are redundant product terms which are not required. For example, the product term C D covers min terms 3, 7, 11 and 15. The four min terms are covered by the essential prime implicants B bar D and B C. The example which we just saw was in fact based on the four variable Karnoff map which we have seen before, which we have seen in the six terms, we have seen that three are redundant and three are used. Hain. Exactly the same min terms we have used and we applied Quinn's McCluskey method. उसमें हमने हमारे पास आंसर क्या है वही जो एसेंशियल टर्म्स थे वही आया सो लेट्स जस्ट समराइज दिस हमने किया कैसे इसको बेसिकली जितने भी मिन टर्म्स थे उनको एक टेबुलर फॉर्म में लिखा उनको रीऑर्गेनाइज किया इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्रुप्स हर ग्रुप में वी हैड मिन टर्म्स व्हिच हैव सिंगल वंस टू वंस थ्री वंस एंड फोर वंस फिर हमने क्या किया वी कंपेयर्ड ऑल द मिन टर्म्स इन वन ग्रुप विद ऑल द मिन टर्म्स इन द नेक्स्ट ग्रुप so, ye throughout karte rahe and by comparing this we in fact were removing a single variable. So, ye step jo hai a complete nahi hua. We continued with this search until we were not able to remove any more variables. So, end mein humare pas kya bacha? Uh, we had six product terms jinko hum kare prime implicants. Inko agar compare kare in mein se koi aapke pas common variable aisa nahi nazar aayega jo aap nikal sake. This completes the first step of Quinn McCluskey method. Second step mein humne kya kiya? Again, wo jo prime implicants che jo hume mile the, we organize them in another table. Upper humne likhe saare jo momentums the, column mein jo prime implicants likhe. Fir humne yeh dekha ki yeh jo prime implicants humne nikale, yeh kin momentums ko cover kar rahe hain. Jo bhi momentums cover ho rahe hain, udhar humne x mark kar diya. Now in the table you would have some columns where you only have a single x. ये क्या represent कर रहा है? ये represent कर रहा है कि एक ही कोई prime implicant है जो एक min term को cover कर रहा है और कोई prime implicant उस min term को cover नहीं कर रहा. In this particular case, uh, that particular prime implicant has to be an essential prime implicant. It has to be included in the expression. So जैसे हमने देखा तीन essential prime implicants थे वो तो हर सूरत में उस एक्सप्रेशन में आने हैं उनके अलावा बेसिकली उनके अलावा जो प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट्स हैं उनकी जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज द थ्री एसेंशियल प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट्स कवर ऑल द मिन टर्म्स ओके लेट मी रिमाइंड यू कि ये जो मेथड हमने किया ये एक्चुअली क्विन मेकलस की इस तरह टेबल नहीं बनेंगे और इस तरह सॉल्व नहीं करेगा बेसिकली एक प्रोग्राम होगा ये एक हमने एल्गोरिज्म या एक तरीका बताया उसमें सो बेसिकली इट वुड बी प्रोग्राम बेस्ड मैथड Let us look at the second example. 
आपको याद होगा जो हमने सेकेंड कार्न ऑफ मैप देखा था उसमें पाँच ग्रुप्स बने थे एक चार सेल्स का ग्रुप बना था और चार दो दो सेल्स के ग्रुप बने थे हमने ये डिसाइड किया था उधर देखा था कि वो जो बड़ा वाला चार सेल्स का ग्रुप है वो रिडंडेंट है उसकी ज़रूरत नहीं है सो so, चार जो छोटे दो दो सेल के ग्रुप थे उनकी ज़रूरत थी सो लेट अस यूज़ दैट सेम एग्जांपल लेट अस फाइंड द सिंपलेस्ट एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग द क्विन मेकलस की मेथड सो उसी तरह हम पहले सारे मिनटम्स लिखेंगे उनको रीऑर्गेनाइज करेंगे आपस में कंपेयर करेंगे प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट्स आ जाएंगे हमारे पास उसके बाद एक टेबल बनाएंगे जो सेकंड स्टेप में है उधर हम एसेंशियल प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट्स उनमें से सेलेक्ट करेंगे सो लेट अस हैव ए लुक एट द टू स्टेप्स कंसिडर द फंक्शन डिफाइंड इन फाइनेनिकल सम फॉर्म एस सिग्मा ए बी सी डी वन फाइव सिक्स सेवन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन द नंबर्स वन फाइव सिक्स सेवन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन रिप्रजेंट दी मेन टर्म्स The mentums along with the variables a, b, c, and d are written in a tabular form. Each mentum is represented in terms of its binary value. We refer to this table as table one. The table of mentums is reorganized in terms of groups of mentums having zero, one, two, three, and four ones. Thus, mentums one has a single one. The mentums five, six, and twelve have Two ones each. The min terms seven, eleven, and thirteen have three ones each, and the min term fifteen has four ones. An extra column is added to the table of min terms, which indicates which min terms can be compared together to eliminate a variable. The table is referred to as table two. All pairs of min terms which can be compared together to eliminate a variable are marked as used. When comparing min terms. The rule is to compare each min term in one group with each min term in the other group. Thus, in this example, min term one in group having single ones is compared with each of the three min terms five, six, and twelve in the group having min terms of two ones each. Similarly, each of the three min terms five, six, and twelve are compared with each of the three min terms in the next group having three ones. That is. Mentums seven, eleven, and thirteen. Lastly, each of the three mentums seven, eleven, and thirteen are compared with the mentum fifteen in the last group having all ones or four ones. The results of the comparisons between two mentums are represented in a separate table referred to as table three. The first column lists the mentums that have been compared together to eliminate common variables. The second column shows the variable in terms of its binary value. So terms one and five form a single term, eliminating variable b, forming the product term a bar, c bar, d. Variables a, b, c, and d have binary values eight, four, two, and one respectively. The comparison terms one and five are marked as used in table two. Similarly, terms Five and seven form a single term, eliminating variable c, forming the product term a bar b d. Both these terms are marked as used in table two. Terms five and thirteen eliminate variable a. Terms six and seven eliminate variable d. Terms twelve and thirteen eliminate variable d, and so on. As a result of comparison, a total of eight. Three variable product terms are formed, eliminating a single variable from each term. All the eight terms are represented in table three. The exhaustive search for finding prime implicants has not completed. An unmarked term represents a prime implicant. Terms five, seven, and thirteen, fifteen compare to form a product term B D, eliminating variable A. The terms five, seven, and thirteen, fifteen are marked as used in table three. Similarly, terms five, thirteen, and seven, fifteen compare to form an identical product term B D, eliminating variable A. Both the terms five, thirteen, and seven, fifteen are marked as used in table three. To speed up the comparison process, terms having the same missing or removed variables are compared. However, the comparison should eliminate only a single variable. Thus, in table three, 
terms 1, 5 and terms 11, 15 have their B variable eliminated. Considering that 1, 5 represents the product term A bar, C bar D and terms 1, 15 represent the product term A, C, D cannot be compared as two variables are different. Terms 5, 7 and 13, 15 can be compared as in both the product terms the variable C is missing and by comparing the two product terms removes variable A. No more comparisons of terms and elimination of variables takes place. Thus, the prime implicants have been found. There are four prime implicants in table 3 and another prime implicant in table 4. The five prime implicants are represented by the product terms A bar, C bar, D, A bar, B, C, A, B, C bar, A, C, D and B, D. In the second step of quinn mccluskey method, the essential and minimal prime implicants are found. The, the prime implicants found in the first step are listed in the leftmost column of the table. The table is referred to as table 5. All the original min terms are listed in the top row that is 1, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, 13 and 15. The prime implicants are listed as A bar C bar D, A bar B C, A B C bar, A C D and B D. In each cell an X is marked indicating that the prime implicant listed in the left column covers the min term mentioned in the top row. Thus, the prime implicant A bar C bar D covers the min terms 1 and 5. In other words, min terms 1 and 5 all have the product terms A bar C bar D. The table 5 can be directly implemented from table 3 and 4. Circles are marked in cells having X which represents min terms covered by only a single prime implicant. Thus, the min terms 1, 6, 11 and 12 are covered by the prime implicants A bar C bar D, A bar B C, A C D and A B C bar respectively. These four implicants in fact are the th four essential prime implicants that cover all the min terms. The simplified expression therefore has the terms A bar C bar D, A bar B C, A C D and A B C bar. The prime implicant B D is a redundant product term as the min terms covered by the B D product term are covered by the essential prime implicants. In the example which we saw, uh, Quinn McCluskey method used kiya tha. again uh, we had five prime implicants. Unme se char essential the, ek jo tha redundant tha. Karna of map me bhi yehi nazar aaya tha. Jo char cell ka group tha, wo basically redundant tha. Now the method which I have just described and which you saw, basically method wo tha representation slightly different thi. Pehle method me uh, we had a column where we had binary values of all the terms. This particular case mein we had the term removed or the variable removed. Theka basically wohi hai. You have studied programming, so perhaps you could implement the Quinn McCluskey method as a programming exercise. Then you would be able to solve um, circuits having multiple variables, more than five variables. Okay, let's apply this Quinn McCluskey method to uh, write some expressions. Uh, which have multiple variables, basically more than four variables. Comparator circuit we discussed kiya tha. Usme kitne variables the? Basically, four variables the. Why four? Because we had two numbers a and b. Each number was of two bits. So the inputs were basically four bits. So four variables. Now let us suppose we need to design a comparator circuit which again compares two numbers, but uh, the numbers are four bits each or three bits each. Agar 3 bit ke do number hain, kitna input ho jayega? Basically, 6 bit input ho ga. Kitne variables chayenge? 6 variables chayenge. Agar wo comparator aap jo design kar rahe hain, it compares two uh, numbers. Each number is of 4 bits. How many variables are required? 8 variables a jayenge. Okay, 8 variables ya 6 variables ho. Expression boolean expression kaise aayegi? Agar Karnoff map use karenge, to you need either a 6 variable Karnoff map or a 8 variable Karnoff map. As you know, 6 variable Karnoff map, 8 variable Karnoff map se derive karna bada mushkul kaam hai. 
सो बेसिकली यू वुड डायरेक्टली अप्लाई क्विन मैकलस की मैथड उसमें अगर आपने प्रोग्राम लिख लिया हुआ है देन ऑफकोर्स यू वुड जस्ट डिफाइन दी मेंटम्स ओके फॉर दी थ्री बेट कंपेरेटिव सर्किट एंड फॉर दी फोर बेट कंपेरेटिव सर्किट ऑफ कोर्स दी क्विन मैकलस की मैथड वुड कम अप विद दी मिनिमम प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स विच रिप्रेजेंट दी सर्किट द कंपेरेटिव सर्किट Okay, let us actually do an example and implement a Boolean expression. The example is of a odd prime number checker. हमने एक पहले भी example की थी एक odd prime number है between zero to nine उसको detect करना था एक circuit भी हमने एक Boolean expression भी बनाई थी उसमें. Let us suppose we need to do the same function that is detect an odd prime number, but the number range has increased basically zero से लेके let's say thirty one तक है. So how do you represent numbers between 0 to 31 basically you need 5 bits so the input to the circuit would be a 5 bit binary number representing of course the decimal numbers 0 to 31 now how do you uh, come up with an expression representing the function of this particular circuit we can of map agar aap use kare kitne variable ka can of map hoga basically 5 variable ka hoga Again, five variables को solve करना थोड़ा सा मुश्किल काम है, गलती के chances हैं. So what do you do? Apply the Quinn-McCluskey method. Basically, you would express the the function for that odd prime number generator by the canonical sum form, the A, B, C, D, E. पांच variables हैं. Main terms जो हैं, basically क्या represent करेंगी? The odd numbers, the odd prime numbers. The main terms are one, three, five. 7, 11, 13, 17 and so on. Basically, these momentums are what are represented by odd prime numbers. Okay? Now, this is the expression you have represented in a canonical sum form. How do you solve it? Basically, we have to apply the Quinn-McCluss method. Basically, what we are doing now is to organize you organize all these momentums in a tabular form. Then, what do you do? Reorganize them in terms of momentums having single one, two ones, three ones, four ones and so on. जब ऑर्गेनाइज कर लिया फिर आपने क्या करना है यू कंपेयर मेन टर्म्स हैविंग सिंगल वंस विद मेन टर्म्स इन द नेक्स्ट ग्रुप व्हिच हैव टू वंस उसमें से आप कोशिश करेंगे कि सिंगल वेरिएबल रिमूव करें सिमिलरली मेन टर्म्स हैविंग टू वंस वुड बी कंपेयर्ड विद मेन टर्म्स इन द नेक्स्ट ग्रुप हैविंग थ्री वंस उनमें से आप एक कॉमन वेरिएबल निकालने की कोशिश करेंगे अल्टीमेटली यू वुड बी कंपेयरिंग ऑल दीज टर्म्स एंड रिमूविंग ए सिंगल वेरिएबल अभी तक आपकी सर्च जो है वो जो एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च है पहला स्टेप जो है वो ख़त्म नहीं हुआ क्या करेंगे अगेन यू वुड ट्राई टू कंपेयर दिस मेन टर्म्स एंड ट्राई टू रिमूव द सेकंड वेरिएबल इफ इट्स पॉसिबल अल्टीमेटली यू वुड रीच ए स्टेज वेयर यू कैन नॉट रिमूव एनी मोर वेरिएबल्स दैट मीन्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप हैज़ कम्प्लीटेड द एग्जॉस्टिव सर्च हैज़ कम्प्लीटेड नेक्स्ट क्या करेंगे बेसिकली दिस फर्स्ट स्टेप वुड गिव यू द प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंस प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंस में से आपने मिनिमल एम्प्लीकेंस मालूम करने हैं या मिनिमल प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स मालूम करनी है जो सिंपलेस्ट एक्सप्रेशन को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है क्या करेंगे नेक्स्ट स्टेप में जाएंगे अगेन जो प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंस है उनको लिखेंगे उनको देखेंगे और जो आपके मेन टर्म्स हैं वो आप लिखेंगे देन यू वुड फाइंड आउट विच ऑफ दीज प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंस कवर विच ऑफ द मेन टर्म्स उनमें से कुछ एसेंशियल होंगे कुछ रिडंडेंट होंगे सो यू जस्ट फाइंड आउट द एसेंशियल मेन टर्म्स एंड बेसिकली दैट वुड गिव यू द एक्सप्रेशन सो एज आई सेड बिफोर इस सारी चीज़ को कान ऑफ मैप से करने के लिए बड़ा मुश्किल होगा आपको करेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन भी नहीं मिलेगा सो इनफैक्ट वी वुड लुक एट द एक्चुअल स्टेप्स वी वुड लुक एट द एक्चुअल एक्सप्रेशन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर At the end, I would once again like to remind you that Karnoff map-based method uh, does not work beyond four variables. Five variables will be wrong, so it is a mistake you would not be able to recognize certain patterns which you have perhaps the important product terms, the essential product terms, or you have some redundant product terms which we include. Even with the four variable Karnoff map, you have seen two examples, uh, different redundant रिडेंडेंट टर्म्स बीच में आ सकती हैं उसमें या आप एक रिडेंडेंट टर्म इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं इसमें सो क्विन मैकलस की मेथड इज एन अप्रोप्रेट मेथड फॉर सॉल्विंग एक्सप्रेशन विच हैव मोर देन फोर वेरिएबल्स सेकेंडली वन यू हैव सर्किट्स विच हैव लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स मोर वेरिएबल्स फाइव सेवन एट टेन 
then of course uh, kind of map to bilkul fail ho jayega usme uh, the example which were which we were doing uh, odd prime number jo checker hai humne baat ki thi ki panch variable tak ja raha hai because we are trying to find that prime number within the decimal range 0 to 31 agar main aapko kahun ki 0 se 100 tak maloom karna hai fir kya hoga of course the number of variables would increase to kun mein class ki method hi use karna padega in fact there are other uh, methods similar to kun mein class ki jo program based hain so you have to write a program you have to uh, uh, indicate the min terms aur wo aapko calculate karke result de dega I mentioned that uh, Quinn McCluskey method is a program based method. A computer may a program like Henge, Joe Solve Karega, Kistranjo, Homne tables, Banayata, Yusurapo, Samjaneke later, uh, tabler form in Nahi Hogausme. So uh, just take it as a challenge you have uh, learned programming. So write a program which uh, implements Quinn McCluskey method or solve Kanege, Koshish Kare. So I hope that when we have the next lecture, we will have to write this program. So if you have that program, we can find express expressions for very large complicated circuits. So we will meet again in the next lecture or either say discussion start karenge. Khuda Hafiz and Assalamu Alaikum.